Hey everyone, Austin here. Last night in my online classes, I was sharing with my students some gift ideas for bluegrass lovers. I figured I'd share those with you here. My favorite gift to my family every year is I do this little recording project and I record five or six of my favorite holiday tunes. Uh, usually those just go to close friends and family, but I included that in this track in the, in the background here, so enjoy those as well. I wanted to talk through some of these gift ideas here. The uh, first one I can't recommend more highly. I loved uh, watching and listening to the music here. This was something recommended to me by Pete Wernick, actually. He mentioned uh, the musicians. And you can see the cast here are just absolutely stellar, stellar musicians uh, from first generation and second generation bluegrass coming together. And uh, this was the first ever documentary on like a bluegrass festival. So they captured footage from there, and then they captured recordings on these CD sets and things like that. And there's, it comes with a book with a bunch of pictures from the festival and things like that. I just love it. And you can see here Ralph Stanley, Mac Wiseman, Del McCurry, Sam Bush, Tony Rice, Roy Acuff, Tex Logan, Jimmy Martin, Keith Whitley, Alpha Posey, and so many heavy hitters uh, are in there. So really inspiring, um, great gift idea for yourself or others. This one was recommended to me. I love these scenes, as you can see a few of them on YouTube and things like that, these old, you know, early Grand Ole Opry uh, appearances. And this is a video series of, of a bunch of uh, performances from there, so it's really fun to look back. And uh, they made it really easy. I think it's in just a, a video, video form rather than DVD. This one here, um, I maybe you've heard of, maybe you haven't, is this really cool spot where where you can watch and listen to bluegrass performances in this cave. They, they transformed it into a concert hall. And so uh, they, they recorded a lot of those performances and they're available originally on PBS, known as the Bluegrass Underground. And you can find some of those original DVD series here. But they redid it and they called the cavern, so some of those modern modern uh, recordings can be found here. You'll see with some other modern bands and things like that. So kind of uh, a couple generations of performances there you'll be able to find. I just want to talk a couple of these books. This one's a fantastic overview of, of the genre and, and uh, both old and new alike. And this is a great one that any, if you play in a band and you're interested in kind of getting things organized, that's a great great one to, to dig into too. Pete Wernick uh, wrote that um, when he was managing Hot Rise as a band. Some gifts for fiddle players. Um, it looks like I forgot to update this one. I, I wrote just down here to remind myself to, to put the Nashville Violin Shop has a great series called Fiddle Master. Now this is the one I highly recommend if you're looking to listen to music and see it and inspire, uh, be inspired. There's a DVD series that uh, you can maybe find it online on, on Amazon, but the, the Nashville Violin Shop is where you're gonna where you're gonna find that. Uh, you can you can contact them to get that. You'll see that in the email that I sent today. But uh, yeah, that's a great DVD series. Just has fantastic performances, really well recorded audio and video. Uh, there's three volumes of it. I own two myself. Um, it's just just a really really inspiring set set of music. So check that out for sure. A Fiddler magazine's always fun. I've gotten a couple of those gifted to, to me, and uh, you can get a subscription or gift that. A couple weeks ago, you heard me talk about Stacy Phillips's resources. I'll probably have a blog post that takes that information and, and, and shares it again. But this is a fun one that makes for I said good fireside reading. You can read some hot licks for bluegrass fiddle. Uh, and you can even get a, a little taste of it here I, with a free sample. You'll see that uh, it's, it's just a real kind of fun read. It starts with just, you know, uh, general information about bluegrass fiddling, has some some other stuff in here, and uh, there's some not it's notation and things like that. Old photos, just a, just a cool, cool little, if you're a bluegrass fiddle geek like I am, you'd probably like something like that. Let's keep going through here. This is a great book for instru learning instrumentals. It's got a bunch of Monroe fiddle tunes, twin fiddle tunes, uh, triple fiddle tunes, single fiddle tunes, um, in tab and traditional notation. That's one good. You've, you've probably seen this on my fiddle. These are my absolute favorite um, tuners. 
You see, I originally heard about this through Mark O'Connor and his band. They kind of were the first ones, I feel like, to start using them. They're great and they're cheap. Uh, and you can just replace the battery on them. They'll last forever. Very cool. And then you've seen this. A lot of you have taken this before. This is the Jam Songbook that has um, all the... the uh, let's see if they have an example here. Yeah, here we go. So it looks like it has a bunch of bluegrass classics with the 145 so that you can kind of transpose and things like that. Great uh, resource for jamming, real real world application jamming where you're not you're not going to know what key they're going to call things in. A couple things here for for mandolin players, same book Monroe instrumentals. Really good clip on mandolin tuner looks like this. You can put it behind the, on the headstock there. I, I love when people have personalized straps. You can put your name on it so people in jams and, and things like that can, can remember. You know, it's a good good way. It's like a name tag, but on your instrument strap. It's a cool thing to have. And that same jam song book here. Now, you've heard me talk about uh, camps that are coming up. That's uh, I just want to re-mention there's a lot of them, actually. The Bluegrass Retreat at Ashokan is, is really filling up. There's, I think, 10 signups already. So that's very really exciting, and uh, ten signups for for uh, for the first week or so. So I'm I'm predicting there'll probably be twenty to thirty people there, and uh, I'm gonna hire uh, an assistant Scott Wilkins to help me out with that. Mandolin Camp North, you should check that out for sure. There's there's uh, great teachers up there. Uh, there's a camp in Ashokan in the summer. I'll likely be sort of doing a little bit of fiddle and mandolin and that assisting. Silver Bay, we've all you know heard of as the uh, uh, Pete Wernick's flagship camp here in the uh, northeast at uh, Lake George, really beautiful spot, YMCA. And then finally here, the uh, this is the first time I'll be in Asheville, North Carolina. This is a uh, creative strings workshop. I'm doing, I'm a feature artist and teacher at uh, Christian Houses camp there, and uh, it's uh, very likely that this is not confirmed yet, but it's very likely that we'll have. Um, Justin Bronham as well on there, who some of you might know from online. He's still confirming that he's uh, available for that, but it'll be a great tag team. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, finally, I just I put on here if, if any of this stuff, um, if you're in a band or I've done this a couple times, it's really fun. I do band coaching where I listen to people perform live, either over Zoom or in person. Um, and then you're you're all familiar with these sorts of things as well. Mm -hmm.